Hey, what's up everyone? I'm super excited to share with you how I created one type bot to scrape as many pages as you want using Google Sheets. So first I'll show you what it looks like from the website visitor's point of view. And then I'll take you behind the curtain to show you how you can put this together in your account with TypeBot. So in this prompt, you can see that it says, ask a question about property C2955-8, which matches the property name down here. And then I'll ask it, how many bedrooms? And it responds with, the property has two bedrooms. Now let's ask another question using the same TypeBot on a different property page. It says, ask a question about property C3015-B. And if I scroll down here, you can see the property name matches. Again, I'll ask it, how many bedrooms? And TypeBot responds with, the property has six bedrooms. Next, let me show you what it would look like if I wanted to add another property page with my TypeBot. So first, I would just grab the URL here, then go to my Google Sheets and paste in the URL in here. I would go back to the property page and copy the property name here. By the way, you can automate this process too, but for this demo, I'm just copying and pasting. Then I'll paste the value in here. And then I would just drag down the functions here where the import XML Google Sheets function is scraping the data from this particular property page. If you're finding this video useful so far, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. So taking a little closer look, you can see here that I'm using this import XML function to scrape the data from this part of the web page. I'm also doing a little bit of formatting to get the text all in one line in the cell. Otherwise, you'll just get like a bunch of stacked text. By the way, I'll include links in the description below so you can try for yourself. So now let me show you what's happening in TypeBot. First, I'm using this Google Sheets integration. Let's maximize it. You select your account, your workbook, your worksheet, and then we're getting data from the sheet. We want to filter the data by URL. This URL serves as our key for the property page that we want to access. And I'll show you how we're getting that URL in just a moment. Once we capture the URL, we're saving it as a TypeBot variable called property URL. And then the cell values that we want to extract are system prompt and property name. System prompt, we're passing into the open AI block so that our Q&A assistant can answer questions specifically about our property page. And then property name is just to personalize the chatbot experience. From here, we tell the user to ask a question about whatever property name that they're browsing. They enter their question, and then we go to this open AI block. Let's expand this. So you select your account, you select chat completion, whatever model that you want to use. And for messages, we pass in the system prompt variable as the system role. And then we enable the messages sequence to give the chatbot memory of the conversation. And then we pass in the variables for assistant messages and user messages. Finally, we save the answer as assistant messages like you see here. So in this text bubble, this is where you see the assistant answer to the user's question. And then it just loops back to the user input where the user can ask another question about the property. Going back to the Google Sheets integration, this part is key to making the TypeBot dynamic. In other words, creating one TypeBot that you can include on every page of your website or every property page, in my case, to then pull the relevant information about that property page. So the way I do that is by passing in a hidden variable. If you go over to the TypeBot documentation, you can see there's a section for hidden variables and a code snippet that you can refer to. So instead of email, like you see here, I'm passing in the variable name called property underscore URL, and then setting the value as a JavaScript method that captures the complete URL of the current page that the visitor is browsing. So if we go back to our TypeBot and go to share, scroll down to script, and in my case, I'm using the bubble implementation of TypeBot, I'm going to copy the script, but please note that the hidden variable part is not inserted here, so we need to add that ourselves. Copy the script. 
And now we are on the new property page that we want to include with our TypeBot. So you can see the TypeBot in action on this page. You can insert that script in the developer console. So you'll paste in your script. And in this section is where you want to put in your pre-filled hidden variable. You can see I added it here. And again, it's property underscore URL is the name of the TypeBot variable. And I'm passing in this JavaScript method that pulls in the complete URL of this current page that we're watching right now. Click enter. And now you can see that we have our TypeBot bubble down here. So let's activate it. And now our TypeBot is telling us to ask a question about this particular property, PE1722. And if I get rid of the console and have a look here, you can see that it matches. Next, I'll ask it how many bedrooms. And it responds with the property has a quaint bedroom loft featuring a king size bed. I think this is super exciting because now you can just pass in the URL of whatever web page that you want to scrape. And then all you have to do is drag and drop the import XML function to scrape the data that you want on that specific URL. Give it a try. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. See you in the next video.